Have you ever shook somebody's hand and you felt like you could just squeeze right through it if you wanted to? You could crush their bones into a powder if you felt like it. Or maybe those hands are yours, but you would never know because you can't really shake your own hand. So how would you know? I had this thought when I was younger and I made a decision. I do not want to be that guy. I would hate to be the guy where someone shakes my hand. I, they feel soft little feminine baby hand, right? It's not a good look. They intrinsically lose respect for you because that's a sign of a soft, sedentary lifestyle. Adversely, if you shake someone's hand and it's a nice, thick, masculine hand, they gain respect for you because that's a signal that you work hard, you are masculine doing hard work or working out or whatever it may be. We don't want that to happen to you. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to achieve thicker, more masculine hands. So first off, I got to drop a bit of a truth bomb on you guys. Unfortunately, you can't really grow your fingers. You can't really grow your fingers because there's no muscles in there. It's just skin, bone, and ligaments mostly. Now you can grow the ligaments just a little bit through exercise and things like uh, grip training, but not very much. You're kind of limited to your genetics, unfortunately. I have long slender fingers, so you know, I just gotta deal with it. But what you can do is focus on growing these mid and outer hand muscles. These being the thenar, your thumb, the lumbricals, which are in between your finger bones, and then the outside one, which is the hypothenar. You can grow all of these muscles, giving you nice, thick handshake. So how do you grow them? Well, the answer is simple. Muscle hypertrophy, just like any other muscle, the harder you hit it, if you're raising the weight and the resistance, your muscles have no choice but to grow. That is the thesis of fitness. It's forcing your body to adapt to stress. If you're telling your body it needs to be doing more, it needs to get stronger, and it has no choice but to adapt and get stronger and build muscle to achieve that strength. Now, you use your hands all day. You're opening stuff. You're holding pencils. You're opening car doors, your backpack, whatever. So it's very used to these minimal movements all day long. So they're quite stubborn so you have to hit it with hard resistance that it's not used to. So I'm talking big weights and big resistance. So one thing you can do is more grip focused exercises. So I'm talking things like rows, deadlifts, and pull-ups. All of these you have to squeeze very hard or if you let go, you will lose and fail the exercise. You let go of a pull-up, you're on the ground. You let go of a deadlift or a row, the weight is on the ground, right? So load up that weight, baby, and hit it hard for heavy, high repetitions. And one little supplement you can do to that is you can add a fat grip. This is a tool you can buy for 10 or 15 bucks. You just put it around the bar and it basically expands the width of the bar and makes it bigger and harder to hold on to. If you can imagine you're picking up a log, the, the bigger, thicker log is gonna require a lot more effort from your hands to pick up than the smaller, thin one, right? It's expanding and stretching out those muscles and ligaments so they have to work quite a bit harder. So you can add this to your high weight grip exercises and it's gonna work wonders for your hand strength and size. Next, we can copy the arm wrestler Devin Larrett who does high weight cable workouts to grow his hands bigger. He started doing this to give him advantage in arm wrestling because if you have bigger hands, you can gain control of the contest, right? More surface area, it's even easier to overcome your opponent. So he started doing these cable exercises and he noticed that his right hand was growing a lot bigger than his left hand. So as you can see in this video, he's going quite heavy and doing high repetitions. You can start supplementing this into your workout routines, maybe do it on your uh, arm day or maybe your leg day. I think that would fit in well at the end of one of those. Just three or four sets of high weight, highest repetition that you can do. And the last thing I'm gonna share with you is, you know, more of a convenience thing. You can't be at the gym all day long doing these cable workouts and grip exercises. So something that is a little more low key is you can get a grip strength trainer. Now this one is just a little rubber ring that you can just squeeze all day long, whether you're in class, you're driving, you're chilling watching TV, and no one will ever know that you're actually training your hands and your grip. And you can do it here to train the thenar, you can do it with the middle fingers to hit the lumbricals, 
and then the pinky to hit the hypothenar and you can do this as much as you want and it's quite easy it might not be tough enough for you but uh if it's not you can get an actual legitimate grip trainer which is much harder a lot more resistance but as you can see it works a lot better again switch it up use these fingers to hit the thenar you can try to use your pinky to hit that outside muscle and just do this whenever you have time as surely you can see my hands working and eventually they will start growing and then if you do all of this long enough one day you will have some big powerful hand baby let's go so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what other topics you'd like me to cover in the future and until next time peace